Now, buddy, what do I see here? The Boeing 777X. We can definitely tell them by the new folding wing system, something that we have never seen before on an airliner. You know, it's interesting. The 777X has been developed for like 12 years. We've already had five test aircraft built, but it's delayed. <laughs> That's the status on Wikipedia. I mean, the first test aircraft was built in 2017. That was when I started my channel eight years ago, but probably won't be introduced for another two years. And that's probably because it's so revolutionary or because, you know, FAA is trying to make sure Boeing doesn't mess up again. Uh, everybody, the Boeing 777X, the plane that I really can't wait to step on foot for the first time in like 10 years. I'll be probably 40, then I will have no hair. I'm glad though that now for the first time, we have a relatively good model to test this plane out in the flight simulator. And guess what? It's for free. The LZAT Vortex 777X, which has just been released on Saturday, and it's completely for free to download. Well, it really doesn't look that bad, although this is probably not a super crazy good flight model. For example, on this livery right here, the 777X is actually a uh, mirrored. Doesn't matter. What we can really see is the magic of the interesting new folding wings mechanism. See, already a week ago, we talked about a Microsoft flight simulator model for this plane, which didn't have those animated, which is like weird because like the whole point of trying out the 777X is trying to fly it with a folded wings up. Let's not fold them down. No, these are not winglets. This is what the cockpit looks like. And you might say, oh, Twist, this is stolen from the 787. And that's exactly the point. The 777X really is supposed to look like the 787. Now, this is not necessarily a good cockpit here in this model. In fact, there isn't, there isn't any, there isn't any buttons. I guess let's spawn into the airplane with the engines running. Yeah. No, this is sort of a game changer. Now the engines are running. The GE9X engine, the most powerful engines in the world and they are huge in fact this whole plane is enormous look how it just dwarfs literally any other airplane here on the ramp i mean we are at key west but look at a little cessna compared to this this is a huge plane and the longest plane that will be in existence. Either way, something that does work in the cockpit, as you can see, the instruments have come to life now. This plane is aware that it's a 777X. And yeah, the yeah, I do have to say, this is not, this is nothing crazy, nothing fancy. But something that does work is this handle right here, the wing tip full. See, while the 777X shares the same cockpit that the 787 has, there's one difference, and it is right here next to the passenger signs, the wingtip fold switch. Yes, and we can unfold it. Now, I would love to say I have a, have a text here, and as you can see, that has just unfolded the wing. We now have a wingspan of 71 meters, which is a larger wingspan than the 7478, Boeing's so far biggest plane. That one only has 68 meters. This plane is insane now, so I really would like to see how it flies. I mean, come on, this is the strongest airplane in the world. The GE9X are quite a lot larger than the already biggest GE90, and it provides 10,000 pounds of more thrust per engine. The triple X is just enormous. Let's go take off and see how it works. We're gonna take off with the wingtips unfolded just to make sure to see how the airplane flies properly. And yeah, we push forward a lot. All these trees are gone now. I really don't even want to imagine the insane level of wake turbulence this airplane leaves behind because this thing is crazy. Look, yes, we can take. Oh, that was a bit of a tail. We're uh, doing a bit of it. We're the first one to tail strike a 777X. Great. Yeah, there you go. This airplane flies. We can put the landing gear up. The animations here aren't really that bad considering this is a free airplane. Look, it comes up nicely. Now, something that is not very nicely animated, I do have to say, is like the wing flex. I imagine this wing to be sort of like, you know, the modern 787 wings we know, where they really start to you know, do this. Or maybe the A350. This is what the modern airliner looks like nowadays. I wonder if this airplane has a cabin at all. Probably doesn't. I'm trying to open this and it doesn't. Do oh. Oh, never mind. That is actually so sick. Now, what are we seeing here? A not prop very very well done cabin yes this is actually what the interior of a prototype airplane looks like 
We have a lot of ballast tanks. I remember, for example, we looked at the first 747 prototype in a museum at some point. There was a lot of ba like balance tanks, lots of computers, and that's actually really fun. Let's... I can hear a stall alert. Shut up. You're doing fine. That's actually so on fire. Well, I hope the plane's not on fire. Look at this. We've got a mobile gooning station right here for the Boeing engineer to test out their plane. Although the landing gear comes through the airplane, but that is totally fine. We actually have sort of a cabin that's ready to have seats put in them, and this airplane is truly huge. Let me just compare the 777-200 to the extremely much longer 7 well, or the X as you call it. This plane is so much bigger even than the 747. It's absolutely enormous. Oh, look at that. 777X versus 737. This thing is big. Now, why is this airplane taking so long to certify? I actually have no idea. Well, there's a lot of new tech here. We have a brand new cockpit. No, we don't have a new... No, there's nothing new about this plane. They reused the 787, and uh, the 777 design is also kind of reused. But something that's very new is, of course, the engine as well as the wings. And this is where it gets really interesting. We were just able to take off really well out of Key West. After all, we've got very strong engines. And to be fair, we didn't really use a lot of weight. What happens if you fly this airplane with this folded? the folding wingtips. Yeah, you might say, oh, having folding wingtips, that adds to a danger of an airplane. I mean, what if they, honestly, I can't really think of a dangerous situation that could be created from this. I mean, obviously the wingtips are folded at parking the aircraft, just to make sure that it's able to fit into smaller parking, you know, spots. After all, they really wanted to make sure that despite the bigger wing, the 777 still needs to fit into a gate of an E designation, so the wingspan had to be smaller than 65 meters to be able to compete with the A330s and the A350s and stuff, because having a wingspan F configuration is really, really bad, because you don't really fit anywhere, honestly. Like, it really, really narrows down the airports you can even land at if you have a F wing, which is why the 71 meters, which would normally be F, can nicely fold into an E wing, 64 meters. Perfect. But well, well, what happens if this mechanism fails and for some reason you're stranded at an airport and you have to wingtips fold it up? Probably nothing much happens, to be honest. This is like probably like a winglet. Well, in real life, I think the structural integrity of this hinge right here would probably not like this, what we're doing now. Let's take off now. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Uh, can we fly anyway? I mean, this is honestly, this looks like a 767 now. 767 is, by the way, the airplane with the largest winglets in the world. I mean, winglets are a thing, and they still they still are, you know. And uh, we can take off. We did a tail strike yet again. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Never, yeah, we're able to fly. Maybe this plane doesn't actually care. Let's defold the wingtips. Can we do that? Yeah, there we go. That's just happened. That probably wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to do that. Actually, I, mean, I can do that midair. Probably this model isn't very realistic. Yeah, this plane doesn't care. Genuinely. Yeah, I think the floating wingtips configuration is not really a problem. I just hope that this hinge is strong enough so that the wingtips don't fall off. But other than that, the airplane is just fine. Look at this. Let's go ahead and try to land it in this configuration. After all, the 777 is known for having very nice landing gear. Landing gear that has a nice eagle claw to it. Nicely tilted. And we can see that eagle claw here too. The landing gear looks Pretty all right, considering this is completely free. Oh, I just put the landing gear back up again. Now, um, about the cockpit, I really don't know how you're supposed to use a plane when it, you know, it doesn't have, um, oh, we're, oh, we're not making this runway. But, but it doesn't have an overhead panel. All that works is a seatbelt sign and the wing tip. Oh, well. Let's go and slow down. We have no engine instruments. Nope, this is definitely not a realistic airplane, like, at all. Great. Shut up, you're fine. Don't stall, let's put the flaps all the way out to 30. All right, with the wingtips folded up, let's go ahead and land this bad boy. All right, I think we're not gonna do a smooth landing our way. Ball, the GE9X probably have very strong reverse thrust, so it really doesn't matter. There we go, that's been a stop. Let's go ahead and stop this bad boy. Uh-oh, I don't think reverse thrust just, reverse thrust isn't working. I can't reverse, reverse thrust isn't working. Oh, no, 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 don't go for, and we're, we're cooked. We're, I've got a crash triple seven at the brakes are very heavily on fire by the way womp, womp. So yeah, it turns out I uh, put out the reverse thrust, but for some reason it set the engines to go full power in the cockpit uh, Which which isn't actually truthful the reverse thrust did go on it just doesn't show a proper animation of that So uh, I was being wrong here damn these 
These are on fire, those brakes. All right, so let me try to try to let's plan the airplane properly now. So letting her down, as you can see, the wing tips are full, uh, unfolded. Is it folded now or unfolded? Honestly, like a genuine question. Is that the folded state or is that the... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and land. Landing gear, landing gear, Why? Landing what do you mean landing gear? It's literally down and it says it here. It's retarded. Oh, I do have to say, we need a bit more speed to keep this airplane flying properly, I guess, with the wingtips unfolded. Let's go ahead and do smooth landing. Let's go landing, come on. Yeah, 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 look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, the first butter on the 777. Now, fall into the braking. I think the braking power of this plane is not necessarily amazing. All right, looking good. Yes, everybody. The brakes are just slightly smoky now. Everybody, there we go. So everybody, get yourself into the position of a test aircraft pilot. Something that we just did here. The extreme uh, braking test, uh, FAA approved. The tail strike test, FAA approved. All that's left is all the air showy bits. Can this airplane fly upside down? Isn't that what they do? Or they do bank tests or do stall tests to see if the airplane stays in one piece. Yes, something like that. And no, there we go. No FAA approval at all. We cannot fly upside down. What are the people in Australia gonna do? The 777X will definitely be the flagship Boeing plane, I think. The plane of the century. Maybe next century, though. We never know. I will just definitely miss the vibes of the classic 777 cockpit that used to be so different, especially in its color. It used to be beige. It used to have style. Maybe it doesn't look like you could enjoy like a chocolate ice cream in there because of the beige color, but this will definitely be missed. This add-on actually could work for freeware. I really don't mind it. At least we have a plane. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. The special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.